right now. Keeping it local. You're watching Fox 11 News Daybreak. Very, very cool, Wendy. Thanks very much. All right, Andy Taylor is here to talk desktop computers. But before we get that, a lot of talk about coronavirus, yeah. of course. And you're seeing something as people look for coronavirus online, uh, the, the searches, that something's popping up. Yeah, there's a lot of scammers out there, and they're taking advantage of us doing searches for COVID-19 or coronavirus. So they can set up a website very easily. Mm -hmm. And there's one site, Checkpoint Security, found this. And what they've done is they set up uh, what they call a testing kit. $300, mm -hmm. but you need to put your information in yeah. to get more info. Once you do that, once you click that button, it then downloads malware to the computer, which can then, of course, stray, change your browser, yeah. the whole bit. So you gotta be really careful about doing these searches online, cdc.gov, of course, yeah. uh, or your physician to for talk sure. to for more exactly. info, or very this good. website. Very good, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it for that. Now. This computer, this, this is the computer right here. This is a full computer. Right when you think about computers, we always thought about desktop computers. Uh -huh. Mini computers have been around for a while. Apple, they have the Mac Mini. Sure. Um, they've tried to do this, but now we're finally starting to see this happen because of the technology now being available with flash memory and smaller processors. Mm -hmm. This is the Ace PC T11. Let me show this to you. This is a full-fledged computer, a desktop computer, as you can see, running Windows 10. You can do gaming on it, not the high intensity gaming, okay. but like uh, uh, some of the many different games that are a part of Windows 10. Okay. Uh, you can also surf the web, send emails, do your bookkeeping, uh, the whole bit. And what a lot of people are doing with this is turning it into media centers. On the back you have HDMI out. Mm. So you could control your Netflix, your Hulu, your Amazon with this to a big screen television and still be able to have Windows interface. So if you're sitting at your, your couch and you're watching television, watching a movie, and you suddenly decide I wanna write a column or write a, a note, you can do that with a wireless keyboard. We have a wireless keyboard adapter right in here, so it take, gives you more space. We have four USBs, one of them being USB 3.1, and you have an ethernet connector, but it also has with it uh, the um, uh, the Wi-Fi built in. Okay, the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's not yeah. So and now storage-wise, the bottom is two screws. You can open it up. It comes with 64 gigabytes of flash storage on the on the drive, but you can add a drive, get up to two terabytes as well. So it's very nice. How much does this cost? Only $149. Really? That's it. How about that? Great unit. All right, Andy Taylor. Great to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, Stephanie, over to you.